Dog News. Election coverage. Stumped. With just a week to go until the election, the drama is almost unbearably dramatic. I was going to say over, but yeah, let's go with yours. We're down to the final candidates in the final days, with Republican Bob Hiscock running neck and neck with Democrat Shauna Lamangelo. And just when you thought it couldn't get any more exciting... A dramatic development! We turned to news babe Candy Cotton for that story. Thanks, guys. A third-party candidate always spices up a race, and suddenly, now we have one. And she's here in the studio with me now. So, Amelia, what prompted this decision? Well, Lena was already fully booked. No, I mean the decision to run as an independent. Oh, that. When my party decided to endorse Shauna rather than a second term for me, I thought I should be dignified and presidential. But then I thought, those cowardly assholes don't have the courage of their goddamn conviction, then they can all just go f themselves. That was Tourette's, right? No candy. That was politics. We can beep that out, right? Of course you can. So, Amelia, all those times that you were mentoring the other candidates, really? You were... Plotting their downfall? Yes. I hear that you're running under the banner of the Bull Moose Party. That's right. Just between you and me, it's not a very flattering name. It was available. Frederick, Cedric, back to you. Thanks, Candy. You're very pretty, by the way. Um, I like your hair. Thanks, Fred. You're welcome. What are you doing later? Washing it. Right. Okay. Loud and clear. Well, the race has certainly got a lot tighter since the debates. And the final deciding decision will go to, surprisingly, a small number of decidedly undecided swing states. Here's Charlie Shankoff with that report. I'm in Ohio, one of the swingiest of the states. Candidates, running mates, and surrogates have been wildly crisscrossing the state, trying to turn up the vote and energize their base. Bob Hiscock alone has visited the state 243 times in just the last 12 hours. Hiscock! 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 Of course, the high concentration of rallying events has led to some confusion. Buffo, what are you doing here? This is a GOP event. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Bofo, are you going negative? Well, look, it's still my event. An evening with Bofo, the mofo with the glow fro. <laughs> I want to talk to the bookings manager of this charge hall right now. Everyone has been doing their very best to present their vision for America. His cock! His cock! His cock! My opponent's policies are all over the map, and his maps are all over the table, which is very messy. I offer a clear and comprehensive plan on a very neatly drawn map, including labeled diagrams and pie charts all printed on glossy paper. What are you doing here, Amelia? This is my event, Shauna. Uh-uh, no, it's not. Yes, I swear, this is Wednesday, right? Yes, Salad Makers Union Hall. Oh, did we get double booked again? You have got to be kidding me! What are you two doing here? I demand to see the bookings manager! Dude, the air drum. In a race this tight, everyone is chasing after those last elusive votes. Desperation is in the air. Or it might be Bofo's cologne. What the hell? I thought I was supposed to be doing this news report. No, I don't think so. This is my report. No, no, this is too much. Who booked the slot? I demand to see them right now. I'm Charlie Shankoff in the swing in the state of, oh, uh, I don't know, Ohio? No, Bofo, it makes me look silly. You don't know what it's like to look silly. <laughs> Thanks for that report, Charlie. We now have a breaking news alert from Candy Cotton. Information just emerging suggests that Democratic presidential candidate Shauna Lamangelo has been kidnapped. Sources say Miss Lamangelo was just emerging from a campaign event in which she had been double booked with Bob Hiscock and a very confused Ross Perot when her Secret Service detail lost track of her. The only clues to Miss Lamangelo's whereabouts are in this security footage. Mystery surrounds the incident, and Lamangelo's whereabouts remain unknown. But with only days to go until the election, who knows how this might affect the results. Back to you, guys! And on that bombshell, we must leave you. Join us next time for the final explosive episode of Stump. <laughs>